Hey y'all, Natalie here today, and I am making a super quick layout in my life crafted. I'm using the painted floral uh, six by six paper pad again from Prima. It's super gorgeous. And I'm using these two pictures of my son. Um, I just decided to switch them up. So can he, he's kind of like facing each other himself in each of the photos. He's playing in the sand on Dolphin Island. Um, so I'm showing you, I want to do a strip down the side where I'm going to uh, punch the holes. Um, I want a nice little colorful strip of paper there. So I'm going through, usually just looking at the B sides to decide what I want there. And I decided to go with the um, orange and white stripe there. I really like that paper um, because it's a six by six. I have to kind of put two pieces together, but that's okay. Um, the papers are or it's a life crafted album. So it's like eight, um, eight and a quarter tall. And I think a full size page is about five wide. Um, that includes the gutters of the page protectors so that it like lines up direct. Um, cause this is going to be outside of the page protector. So I'm just going to stick the um, pattern paper down the side there and I'm hanging a little bit off that I will trim off at the end this page came together like super quick this is a very quick little video but i just wanted to um pop on here and and add a little content to the channel um trying to work my way through these travel albums i have so many going on right now and i really would love to finish one um kind of before our next set of travels but those are coming up pretty quickly so i don't think that's gonna happen but just plowing through working on them um i pulled a couple of beautiful butterflies out of the ephemera pack and then I'm doing three rectangles of the pattern paper. I'm going to do that turquoise paper and then I'm going to do the same orange and white stripe that I used on the right side and then the other side of the orange and white stripe is this really gorgeous floral so I also cut a strip of that and they're not perfect because I am going to rough them up with my page distressor my edge distressor so, but that's kind of like the look I'm going for there. Both of these are going to be OTTP outside of the page protector. So um, I'm going to make sure to adhere everything really well. So I distress these little rectangles of paper and then I decide that I need some splatter and I actually go with black, which is unusual for a beach page, but there were just like hints of black in the papers. And so it actually works really well. So I just did a single stitch down the middle of all three of those. Um, so those are not going anywhere outside of the page protector or not. They will be adhered down well. So I stick down the photo of my little guy and I'm going to stick down the ephemera bits and then I'm like, oh wait, I should sew on them as well. So I do go off screen and I sew down just right in the middle of their little bodies. And so you'll see me here in a second, lift up the edge of the wings. So when you do that, when you adhere down with glue or just sew down just the middle, then they can be really 3D, which is fun when it's outside of the page protector, especially. So I have this little bit from the ephemera pack. It says this moment, and I decided that it looks really good as a pop off of that turquoise color. I'm just going to um, cut a circle and sew it down over here because I like to have a little tab for the reader to use to turn the page without touching the photo. So I'm just gonna sew a little straight line down that circle as well. It has the same pop of orange um, in the florals as it does on the rest of the layout. And um, that's gonna be it. So I'm gonna pop my links down below if you would like to go buy this painted floral collection at a cherry on top. It's so gorgeous and they have it in their store. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'd love it if you'd like and subscribe. Bye y'all.